choose louder. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Where are we at? We are at the LZ compound and we're here for the second annual LZ Invitational. Yeah, so last year's was uh, pretty insane. My Corvette was already down here in Florida. I was actually gonna bring my S14 this year, but then I had some uh, bearing issues with it, ran without oil. And then so I asked you, I was like, hey, Adam, what do I do? I said, we got cars. They have uh, the black C6 Corvette that Colette drove last year, which is actually a Drift HQ rental. You guys haven't even rented them out yet. No, and I think she might be the only person that's ever driven that car. I think so too. I was so. talking to Duarte a little yeah. bit ago. That is what we're gonna do. My S14 is back at the shop on the lift and we just flew in, saved us like 60 hours of road trip. And now I get to drive the Drift HQ Corvette. You're a busy guy. You got all this stuff going on getting everything launched. Well, what is it? This is Wednesday and the event is on Saturday. So and we have a giveaway going live too and you know how that is. Also, just to be clear too, there have been a lot of people that wanted to rent the car. We've just been too busy and like we haven't been able to support the car. So we're just like, ah, oh, soon, 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 once we get our kind of like bearing straight. Yeah. Well, you guys have had a lot of stuff going on here yeah. at the compound too. And that Supra, holy crap. I was just looking at the four rotor Supra. That thing is freaking insane. So this is your 33? Yep, this is our new giveaway car. And that launches today. Yep, it, uh, it could use a little paint work if you know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy. Yeah, so he was Dude, like, hey, can I help you with anything? Though. You like it? It's kind of funny, like, I always thought that you were going to do a Honda build. Mm -hmm. And then, like, when you got this one, it was a stereotypical, just, like, beat to crap. And you, like, but now look at, like, that's freaking insane. I so it. It's, like, kind of, like, a little drifty, like, with the cage yeah. and the interior. But then the outside is, like, very kind of, like, OE+. plus. No, it's, it's really cool. Especially, I love the way that you did the cage, because when we did, like, the drag cage in my Civic, it compared to a drift cage is like it doesn't look good like that thing looks like you could like slide it into the side of a tree and be okay that was kind of the idea behind it so i have it set up so it's really oversteery so if someone that doesn't drive front wheel drive a lot like steers in while they're on the brakes at all it is going to spin yeah so i was like i'm not worried about like you know a, a roll as much as just someone getting t-boned by a tree yeah. so and so you're gonna let the people the yeah. youtubers and pretty much anybody set a lap time in this this week that's fine Every time yeah. we come to Florida, we always come to Adam's, like his house or here at the compound. It's just like an adult playground. Like, it's just insane. You yeah. know, like, I forgot, like, the first time I, I came here, you had like the RCs and you're jumping them over your house and doing oh, all yeah, that stuff. Way back. And then uh, now you have like a CRX to literally like bash around the compound and set laps. Like, it's insane. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go check out the Corvette. So, we got a little distracted on the way to the Corvette. So, Johan right here. How you doing? What up, everyone? He has been working. How many months have you guys been working on this thing? It's hard to just say how like how much time we put in continuously on the car. We started what working on it, stop because we got so many other things going on. I've been going on it for like a week, like nonstop. Yeah. But then I have to stop to do a lot of things. If you guys didn't know, Adam is putting a NA four rotor rotary engine in a basically 2020 A90 Supra. Which is crazy. Johan just made this header. So this is what, pretty pretty close to equal length? Yep. And I was watching the videos, like 48 inches of like runner length per yeah. like so rotor housing. This point it was 48, so like if you, yeah, 49, but 48 inches it was the target uh, goal for the headers. Uh, four inch uh, straight pipe to the yep. back. We want to put mufflers, <clears throat> but we don't have time for mufflers. We're trying to have it run it on Friday. What is this gearbox? It's a HGT, six feet, sequential. Dry sump. This thing's insane. You guys are gonna see this thing come together over basically the next uh, two days. Right. He's got a lot of stuff. So I hope that we could hear this thing by the, the weekend. Uh, if you need any help, let me know. We're gonna I go look at the Corvette. It. And uh, if there's anything I could help help you out with on this thing. I appreciate it. That'd be cool. Yeah, so it's hard because there's so much things to do and then you don't kind of don't want to overstep or like work over each other, yeah. especially with something like this. There's we'll try to make it happen. If there's something simple that's like, hey, do uh, this, let me know. Install no. dash. Install Done. dash. Like, put bolts in it. Cool. We'll put bolts it. on. <laughs> All right. Put rear wide fat on. Rear wide fat. Also, the S15 is uh, running again. This car kind of has a little special place, you know, for me. Cause I think, it, what was it, 2019? When I was with you guys on FD? When, when was I with you guys on the FD team? Was that 19? Well, it's in 2019. It was yeah. this uh, uh, prospect year. Yeah. And through 2021, so three years. Yeah. So basically the first year that Adam was actually in FD and Prospect, 
uh, I kind of helped them with uh, not really anything with the car. I basically helped the camera in the pits and watched you guys work on stuff and all that. But uh, it was cool to be around it and Adam and like him in his first year in FD and basically coming up with the team and doing all that stuff. But it's really cool to see this thing. It's really sick because it has uh, Garrett, what is it, a G40 1150 on it now? Yeah. So I'm curious to see how it sounds and uh, see how this thing rips. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's actually go look at the Corvette now. On the road to Drift HQ, there's a lot of distractions. Uh, Jimmy's car right here, Jimmy Oaks. We were just up there and we looked at this thing. It was stock ride height, stock body kit, no wheels, no suspension. It's a 1G VVTi with a turbo on it. Makes some good power, but look at it. It's just, he got so paint, paint match body kit. That's all he did. Paint match body kit, wheels, coilovers, and that's it. That's just good. And we got the rental for the, for the week? Rental, yeah, so this is our new whip for the week. Uh, I figured that we, for the price of a car, it was the same to get this uh, Tacoma, and it has a trailer hitch, and we might need to try to get the Corvette to the track, and they have an aluminum trailer, so we might do that, but we also have wheels, tires, tools, and other stuff, and this is like our pit unit. Also, it, it is uh, rear wheel drive, so we might be able to do some burnies, some skids. It does have touchy brakes. Watch, check this out. Hey. How you doing? Good, how are you? Is your car going to be ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Good see it. Yeah. Looks good. For sure, car. Um, in Colorado. In Colorado. Right one? Yeah, the black Drift HQ Corvette, I think. Might need some work. Oh, why? You should test it. That's that's the plan. That's why I'm here today, not okay. on Thursday or Friday. Let, let me see the touch of brakes again. Hold on. So this is like me trying to stop. Watch. Oh my god. <laughs> that's like a normal stop too. It's not even that's not even me being stupid. That's literally it. Oh, they also paved some stuff at the compound. So see right here? Oh yeah, this this whole outer outer edge. There's like a whole bunch of new concrete here. There's a lot more concrete here, yeah. Is that okay. it? Yeah, that, that's the one without the cage. Is that That's it. That's it? Buddy, that looks that looks like a motion auto car. That looks like a motion auto car, but it's like a freaking Drift HQ car. That is crazy. Look at that thing. Let's take a look at it. I, I hope this is the right one. I, I thought it was a black car. Like, I thought it was going to be a black Corvette. And it used to be... Buddy, this thing, like, it just needs to say... Drift HQ Rentals. It just needs to say motion auto. Yeah, hey, how you doing? Is this my vet? Yeah. I thought it was black. Oh, that thing looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. So when did you guys get it wrapped? For you to destroy, you know? I, I don't, I don't plan on doing that. How's it going? Pretty good, man. Good. Obviously, there's a lot going on the compound this weekend. There was, what, how many people? Like, like 30 like drivers? 30 or 40, yeah. Everybody got trailers, cars, last minute repairs. So, you know, we've been a little bound up trying to get everything going. Yeah. So we're in the Drift HQ shop. Where was the water line? Um, the water line you can see on the front here, but actually the back of our shop um, tapers down a little bit, so the back of the shop was almost up to 16 inches. So we did a hell of a job cleaning, just bleached yeah. everything, pressure wash, cleans the floor, you it know, as much sick. as we can, just try and get everything going. This is another one we're prepping. Uh, Brutski's going to be driving this one. It's got cool. a Crate LS3 from Texas Speed in it. So be right on par with what you're going to be yeah. driving. No, I'm stoked. I'm really excited. So, yeah, my uh, S14, the bearings. You know, had a little little issues with that. Could have put it together, but I was like, you know what? This makes the most sense. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you said it was kind of last minute. That thing's pretty much turnkey. I mean, yeah. it's real functional in terms of just being pretty much a stock Corvette with an angle kick and the handbrake in it. So. Yeah. And he said I might need to check over some stuff and test it. So. Yeah. Um, and probably, he said the biggest thing was probably charge the battery. Yeah, for so sure. I'm gonna put a battery charger on now. I just got this one in, so that was my next step: is get that thing on the battery gen tender. Cool. So we're looking at this. Uh, what, what is this? E92. E92. Yep. Built 2JZ? Built 2JZ, Garrett Turbo, Artec Manifold, Plasma Man Intake, just all the regular stuff we put on our JZs, and we did the um, PMC adapter with the DCT trans on it. Yeah, so that's really cool. And you guys have the HTG tranny controller? The tranny so, controller and the shifter. So this is essentially a BMW dual clutch transmission adapted to a 2JZ setup for drifting. The clutch pedal is essentially like a throttle pedal, basically like a a yeah, pedal so position it sensor. A, a five volt reference sensor so you can set your engagement point where you want yeah. to so that way you can still clutch kick and you can still handbrake without worrying about stalling the motor. So it'll still fully disengage the transmission from the motor. So this is one of the things that's been in my brain for a while because like I want to do that in something. Not necessarily with the DCT, I want to try it with the, the 8HP. 8HP. Yeah, after doing a lot of research, we were kind of already immersed in the whole yeah. um, DCT thing and then uh, we are eventually probably going to switch this over to the 8HP, mostly because of weight. Yeah. The 8HP is way lighter. That DCT, just getting it up on the trans jack, and that was without any fluid in it, yeah. it was a nightmare. 
But that shifter that they come, um, I forget what company makes it. I think it's called DCT Shifters. Yeah. yeah. Just feel that thing. It's got a real like crisp, like mechanical feel to it, even though it is still electronic. Whose car is this? It's Clark. Nice. Yeah. It's got that real sequential type feel to it without yeah. being too crazy. That is cool. There's a lot of like HGK goodies on the car too, the dash and the door cars. When is like this that. thing going to be running? So we kind of had it get bumped out of line a few times yeah. because we had the giveaway car come up and then um, we were working with Adam's car trying to get him prepped to get his um, E46 there ready for the event. Our built motor didn't show up in time for that, so that was kind of a stall for no reason. Yep. And then um, also, you know, random events that we're running when we're up at like the Gambler, yep. doing like the Riverside Drift events and stuff. There's always something coming up where it's like we have to prep this and put this aside. So yeah. hopefully within <clears throat> the next three months or so, we'll have this thing out on the track and see what it's capable I'm of. Really, I'm really excited to see how that works that's cool. yeah this is my first time messing with the dct stuff so i'm curious if i got it right or not yeah <laughs> you said I'd oh, it's got like do... spider webs everywhere dude yeah i know so it used to be a black corvette so let's let's just take a seat <clears throat> they said i would have to probably adjust the seat because of uh colette so we got hydro e-brake feels like it needs a little brakes work I mean, this thing's gonna be sick, dude. I feel, I feel like you're gonna feel right at home after your Z06, oh, yeah. you know? Uh, hood, I think, is already popped. Uh, battery is completely dead. I think we need to clean it. But, Look at that, little LS3. So this is basically a really low mileage LS3 from Lee C Parts. It has like 43,000 miles on it, so. Oh, look who's here. We got all the boys from uh, CT here. Hey, what's up, you boys? Doing? You like my new car? It's a good unit. Big vet guy, I heard. Big, big vet guy. Big, big, big vet guy. guy. Are you guys hitting the jumps? We're, uh, we're making the jump. Okay. You gonna hit them? I don't have a pit bike, so you if... Uh, mine. Yeah. yeah, I'll hit it. Okay. I'll hit it, I think. Got you on camera. It's my camera, at least, so... <laughs> yeah, he's on my side. <laughs> <laughs> How far is it? Over there. It's it's uh, 20 feet. You're on the building. Okay, cool. Yeah. This thing looks like more of a motion auto car than my cars. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Like, doesn't it? You just need like a Motion Auto sticker right here. Like just like right on the front. Like honestly, like this is what like my car should be is like this, but Motion Auto. Yeah. Like it's kind of sad, but it, it looks cool though. Yeah. Do you think they'd be great. mad if we covered up the H? It, no, we have to leave that on there. We have to leave the, you know, leave the Drift HQ, but you could put a Motion Auto there. You can put it on the roof. You can yeah, put it on the I rear think, like, window. A motion Auto sticker on the back would be cool. Yeah. Uh, just so people know, like even right here would be good. Yeah. Just so people know that like, hey, it's me. Motion Auto. It's me. I'm driving it. I'm doing it. Let's go look at that jump. Got a jump box. Uh, the little battery tent, it wasn't doing anything. So we're going to do this and we're going to see if it starts. So things light up and it tried to start, so that's good. This is dead, dead. Yeah, this thing doesn't even like do anything. Yeah. All right, better jump box? A little bit better, but if it's not, I'll put it on my truck and this thing will be 100% a bit. That's better than it was. All right, so first test hit. It always is scary until you're midway in the air and then you're like, oh, this is fine. Alright, we're back. Alright, we got another one. This one matches the car, so hopefully this one works. The last one was really close, so we'll uh, see if this will get her, get her jumped up. Quiet. It is quiet. 
But I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like stock exhaust. It probably has like a muffler delayed or something, but overall it runs. That's the first step. That's good. That's it, she runs, boys. So, uh, we drove the car over here. Uh, it was running on that thing, but it actually ended up dying. Uh, the battery, the alternator is actually charging at like 13.4, but I think the battery is just so low. Corvettes, for some reason, they just kill the battery, especially if the cars sit. So like my car, even if I let it sit overnight, I just like disconnect the battery. Uh, they put a new battery in here, I guess a couple months ago, but then, you know, obviously a new alternator as well. But then, since it sat, it pretty much just drained it. So. Duarte is actually on the phone right now. He's ordering a new battery. Uh, got it jump started. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys the car a little bit and then kind of the things that we need to dial in. Obviously the charging issue or the starting, basically new battery should solve all that. Uh, right now the Hydro e-brake, it has a three quarter master cylinder, which depending on the size of caliper, I think kind of has a lot of volume, but kind of a low pressure versus if we did like a, like a 5 16 or a different, uh, like a smaller master cylinder for the Hydro it would be like a lower volume, a higher pressure. Cause right now when you pull the hydro, the rear brakes just don't feel like they lock, but I'm gonna try warming it up too. So uh, now that the UPS has done their pickup for Drift HQ here today, uh, now we kind of have free reign of this little area. So we're gonna go ahead and block off the entrances to the compound and uh, drive this thing. But right now it has an FDF angle kit on it. Look at that, got some pretty thick angle. It has a uh, BC racing coilovers on it. What else does it have? It's got a radiator, it's got an intake, I think stock headers and all that other stuff, and maybe just a little uh, little exhaust. Got some Kanzai wheels, uh, looks like some NRG seats, race clip harnesses, uh, obviously, you know, steering wheel and all that stuff. So it's a, a pretty legit setup drift car and uh, like the perfect car for anybody to rent. So again, after, after this weekend, you know, this thing, I guess hopefully after I get it all dialed in and work out all the bugs of it this weekend, this thing will be available to rent from Drift HQ. But uh, let's drive this thing around. Dad. See, it's probably just like doesn't like providing that much voltage, so it's like draining it. So it's, it's like, it stop yeah. it. So, yeah, the the hydro, I kind of warmed it up a little bit. It definitely, you gotta pull it's it hard. Slow. It's still not my car, so I'm yeah, like, send it. I'm trying to be nice to her. So uh, don't be nice to her. <laughs> That's why it's not working. <laughs> we don't like to treat things nice. <laughs> you just be rude to them, and then they work. Oh my goodness, instant. Keep it revved up. As soon as I take it off. Yeah, yep. so the battery's just that drain. Yep. The Optima is not... Doesn't like it? Doesn't like it. Either it's not making full contact or... I wonder if like a cable or... Fucking, yeah, hold on. Let me see some. Put the, put the lights on. Give me a second. Okay. What if the battery Johan gave me doesn't have juice? What do you think it needs? Juice. How God. much juice? That battery might be fucking dead. Oh. Trevor, if you touched it, you broke it. You didn't yeah, mean to. Cheers now. Alright, put it in gear now. Yeah, it's in gear. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. For a second. Go faster. Try it. Like Try it. Try it. No pop start. <laughs> So you can go do that. Yeah, look there. I'm getting the Drift HQ treatment. It's nice. Drift I don't, HQ I don't have treatment any, is great. I don't have any tools. 
But that's what you get when you rent a car from Drift HQ. You don't go. Well, I don't know. If you rent it and you take it to the track, you might have to work on it, but they'll. They'll, they'll definitely help out. Yeah. Oh, dude, thanks to O'Reilly's. Brand new fresh. Buddy, you almost bought a Tacoma. It was sick though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Quick bait. Jimmy Oaks almost kind of totaled our car. <laughs> Basically, it's just a testing session, so no like tandem stuff or right. no nothing crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna wait for Duarte to come back over here and then I'll slide around a bit. So quiet. Oh, yeah, right there. Well, uh, coolant line burst. Well, that's why that's why you got to get them hot to test it. Yeah, that thing is... Yep. Yeah, she's not happy. So far, good, though. Uh, it got to 230 on the coolant temp, which the fans on these things turn on at 220. Uh, but it felt good. I mean, it felt really good I mean basically that first little thing I felt that e-brake still a little bit hard so it doesn't like lock up like instantly but uh, overall I think it's okay but I did tell him that I was like it hasn't been driven in one yeah. year uh, outside of us doing a little demo video yeah. but you got to test it like yeah. this is why it's here we'll fix it up tomorrow you'll be good to go yeah. you break it again fix it again yeah. try to get a again. hot try to get figure out yeah. all the systems it has the aftermarket um, Radiator yeah. and everything. So is it? We change all that. I wonder. First coolant line. He's it's got like the Irish luck or something. I huh? know, brother. <laughs> so they went ahead and pulled the Corvette over to the Drift HQ headquarters. They're going to work on it tomorrow morning, figure out that coolant line. But uh, that is it for this video, guys. Appreciate you watching. See you tomorrow.